Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and uh, welcome back to LEN Live Chat. Ah, first of all, I have an apology and a confession to make. Uh, my ability to do any kind of live chat from campsites around northern Europe, well, southern Europe, uh, was a dismal failure. <laughs> Campsite Wi-Fi does not lend itself well to doing any kind of uploading, so... Um, I know I promised the last time, the last session uh, on live chat, but it just wasn't possible, guys. And um, anyway, so first of all, uh, thank you to our sponsors, Teacher Karen from Live English Training and, came, uh, and um, Cambridge Proofreading for the last time because their sponsorship is just about to run out. If you know anybody who wants to sponsor us, please get in touch. And Multilingua, English language school in Malta. Thanks, guys. And uh, I'm not sure where to start, to be honest. I mean, am I going to be able to fit in a month of live chat? Mm, if I ignore all the highs and hellos, maybe. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to start with what appears on Discuss as a month ago. Okay, so um, I'll presume a month ago is when I first set off. And Abdallah said, hello. Hello, Abdallah. Aslia said, hello, Lynn. Hello, guys. How are you all here? Okay, don't forget, capital letters at the beginning of every sentence. And if it's a question, no full stop, just a question mark. So it should be, hello, Lynn. And then, hello with a capital H, guys full stop and then how with a capital H are you all here question mark and uh, Zeb kindly replied hi Aslia I feel good but I'm really looking forward to the weekend phew it's been a tough week and I've just replied to Zeb because uh, I'm back why tough has it got easier since I hope it has Zeb and Asleo actually went on to say, I'm Asleo from Philippines. Funnily, we use the article with the Philippines, I think because it's such a, you know, sort of like scattering of islands. So it's sort of like the group of islands called the Philippines. So you would say uh, to a Brit, I'm Asleo from the Philippines. And then uh, John Strachey said, hi, people. I am from Cabo Verde. Oh, sounds nice. Verde, green. Yeah, somewhere green. Uh, I, capital H, for high capital. And Zeb replied again, thank you so much for looking after everything, Zeb. Hi, John. Where is it, Cabo Verde? Mm, good question. Didn't get a reply. We still don't know. Um, John Strachey then said, how long this site exists? I didn't know about it. <laughs> okay, so um, how long has this site existed? For mm, how long for? Yeah, how long has this site existed for? Or better to say, how long has this site been here? <laughs> it's more natural. Uh, I, capital I, didn't know about it. Okay. Um, hi, John, said Zeb. Don't know. It was already there when I came around. Why this question? And still we don't know. Um, John, just to let you know, the site has existed since 1999 in various forms. This discuss thread has only existed for a month or so because, yeah, it's just... Um, something we tried out, we like it, we're going to expand on it when I've got time. <laughs> Carla then wrote, hi, I want to practice my English. Good. Carry on, Carla. <laughs> Carry on. Um, oh dear, Priya Tashini said, hi, sir, I need to improve my basic English skill, uh, which should be, hi, I need to improve my basic English skills. There's more than one skill in learning English. There's listening, reading, writing, um, speaking, most importantly of all, of course. There's pronunciation, there's um, intonation. You can break each skill set down into smaller things. Speed reading, reading for context, uh, reading for detail. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's more complicated than you think, but it is easy. Just let it, just let your brain do what it does naturally. Yeah, don't fight it. Uh, Zeb replied then, welcome here to use and improve your English. But who is this sir you are greeting? Ha <laughs> ha, my, my question too. <laughs> who is this sir? Hmm. Uh, I often wonder who sir is. Maybe it's hubby. Yeah, hubby does a lot of our techie stuff. So maybe it's um, hubby. Hubby doesn't come on to 
any of the chat. He's not into social networking and he, he does all the techie stuff for us, so he hasn't got time to chat. Sorry. So no no sirs at the moment. If there are any sirs out there who want to get involved, get in touch because, yeah, we could do with a few more sirs. We used to have Tom. He was a sir, uh, but he kind of fell by the wayside and life got complicated for him. I haven't heard from him for a while. I sometimes get a little message to say he's still alive on Skype. Uh, but yeah, it's all it's all moms here, <laughs> I think. So Zeb then wrote, I know anyone, it's Mr Fox. I love it when Zeb does this to me. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and tocks, sir. I can't do it, Mr Fox, sir. <laughs> Okay, then Shiva wrote, Hi, I need a partner to practice speaking English. Yay! Okay, hi, capital H, English, capital E. Don't forget your full stop. Um, Finding a speaking partner is a really good idea and I'm all for people getting in touch via... Uh, Learn English Network. I try and put people in touch with each other on Skype, on Google+, uh, even on Facebook, if you're active, okay? Um, And on Discuss, why not? We could maybe do a... The problem is wait for people to chat with you online for a bit before you actually start swapping email IDs, um, that kind of thing. So by all means, come on to live chat and say, I want someone to be my speaking partner. We'll see what happens. Remember, this kind of thing is only as good as the people using it. Okay, so we're here to support you, but we can't be a speaking partner for everybody because a speaking partner implies one-to-one conversations. But Shiva, you're more than welcome to join us in any of our group conversations on Skype, on Google+, on Join Me, uh, even on Second Life and in Kitely Virtual Worlds if you're into that kind of thing. It's great fun. Okay, so Zeb wrote, hi Shiva, have a look at L- at L-E-N-G plus, it should be the L-E-N-G plus community. There you get opportunities to speak every time you join one of their hangout, hangouts, yeah, one of them, one of them, plural, okay, and exactly, Shiva, I mean, come and join us, uh, we do hang out, we do chat, we watch videos, we talk about ooh, all sorts of things, even grammar sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Luis Gustavo said, hi, guys. Then, oh, we got a long one here. Uh, Reginaldo came and said, hi, how are you guys? Zeb wrote, hi, Reginaldo, I'm fine, and you? And Reginaldo went, well, <laughs> I think he was surprised anybody replied, I'm new here. I'm trying to access the Learn English Forum, but I can't get in. Ooh, but I can't get in. The message show that show to me is invalid your email. I don't know why. Neither do I. Okay, the message shows. Um, no, the message says in your email is invalid. I don't know why. I would like to learn English. Capital E. I'm from Brazil, Amazonas. Amazonas. Okay. And I liked this site. Where are you from? Okay. I liked this site. Um, it means you don't like it anymore. So you would. I'd prefer it if you say, and I like this site, unless you've fallen out with us for whatever reason. (laughs) Okay. Zeb replied, I'm from France. I live in Paris. To access the forum, you first have to register on UQ. Um, Reginaldo then replied, really? Last year, June, I was in Paris. My aunt lived there. My aunt, she lives there. Okay. My aunt lives there. Uh, not here. My aunt live here, you've written. See, my brain corrected it. <laughs> so, you're not in Paris, so she's over there, and my aunt, she lives there. Okay? Uh, I travelled to China and visited her. Hey? <laughs> Can you travel to China and visit somebody in Paris? Oh, maybe it's the Chinese Paris. I've heard there's a Paris in China. Uh, so I did this, registered on UK. UK. Okay, I will check what happened. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah, thanks, Seb. Uh, Seb replied, alas, I haven't been really of any help. There is the G Plus community you may be interested in as well. Here's the link. Ah, oh, thanks, Seb. Uh, so you speak French. Reginaldo replied, no, I don't speak French. My French relatives speak Portuguese. Okay, my French relatives speak Portuguese. Portuguese with a capital P. All languages are proper nouns, so you capitalise them. My aunt married with French. Okay, my aunt married a Frenchman, I presume, as it's your aunt. It might be a French woman nowadays, you don't know, but uh, whatever. Um, Thanks again. I need to go solve a problem here and try again later. 
I wrote back. To, I wrote to Reginaldo. Hey, I found. A, I must have found a Wi-Fi 22 days ago. Hi, Reginaldo. I'm still on my holes, but I hope you managed to register with Yuku. If there's still a problem with the email address, try to contact Yuku support. Um, Reginaldo then said, "I'm trying to use another email account, but if the problem continue, if the problem continues, if it." continues I will contact them thanks uh, and then I said I I'll be of more help when I'm back off holiday but I have to admit sorting out technical problems when on campsite wi-fi is beyond my ability <laughs> Zeb wrote to Re Reginaldo okay good luck okay and I hope Reginaldo you keep in touch I hope everything went well. Uh, Tamador then, oh, sorry, Rose said hello as well. And then Tamador said, hi, how are you today? So, hi, capital H, how, beginning of a sentence, capital H. And Zeb replied, hi, Tamador, what's going to happen if I say, well, the sun is shining, but I could feel much better. I think I put on a bad mood mask. <laughs> That's not true today, but sometimes it is, even if I always reply, I'm fine. And you, feeling good? Yeah, I know what you mean, Zeb. We always say, you know, people say, how are you? Say, I'm fine. You sat there with a broken leg, blood pouring out your head. You say, I'm fine. <laughs> it's a British thing, especially. Yeah, we do say I'm fine. It doesn't always mean we're fine. Okay, you have to read between the lines when you're speaking to British people. Anand then wrote, hi, this is Anand, 31M from Egypt. Anybody home? Okay, anybody is one word used to be two words, I think, and it probably got hyphenated. I don't know. I don't know the etymology behind uh, anybody, but it is one word now. I know that. So it's anybody, no space. And Zeb wrote, hi, Anan. Right now I'm writing from home, but sometimes I do it in the tube, on a car, on a train, never on a plane, though. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You're, and then I replied very sarcastically, on a car? Now that I would like to see. I can see Zeb car surfing, yeah, along with the, all the roller skating you do through the streets of Paris. Bit of car surf. No, don't do it. It's dangerous. And Zeb then wrote, well, true, I'm more often in the car, but sometimes I sit on the bonnet. Not whilst it's driving, I hope. <laughs> Okay, Laura then said, Laura then um, introduced her said and said, hi everybody, I'm a French girl. Laura, capital H for hi, uh, capital F for French. And Zeb wrote, hi Laura, are you a French girl with red heels and long legs? There is a kind of a stereotype, oh, that's the kind of stereotype of what a French girl looks like in some countries. Okay, that's very true. Um, but and usually wearing a bonnet, uh, no, not a bonnet, a beret. Yeah, one of those slightly over the eye, you know, slightly hooped over the forehead and the eye, and and looking extremely sexy. French men don't get such good luck though. They're normally on a bicycle with a string of onions and a stripy top. <laughs> If you want stereotypes, I just love stereotypes. I love breaking them actually. Um, then we had a. Uh, little hello from Alexia. Alexia wrote, I want to learn English, so someone who wants to talk about. Ooh, um, hmm. I want to learn English, full stop. Um, so someone who wants to talk about something. <laughs> I don't know what you want to say there. Question mark. It's, it's fine, but hmm, be a bit more specific. Um, Zebra, hi Alexia, feel free to interact with me if you like, but I'm not sure I want you to talk about me. <laughs> exactly. I replied, I'm, oh, 14, two weeks ago, I must have been on a campsite with Wi-Fi. Uh, there's only one thing worse than being talked about, and that's not being talked about. And Zeb wrote, indifference, brr, it would make me dead. Oh, it would kill me. It, you can't make someone dead. You can kill them. Um, it would It would kill me. That said, talking about is like noise, which could turn me mad. Hmm, not sure about that. Uh, being dead or ready to be taken by the white coats. Ah, <laughs> okay. Hmm, I got that. Um, that said, talking about death is the kind of noise which could turn me mad, which could drive me mad. You don't turn mad, you get driven mad, you go mad. Uh, so, which could drive me mad. Not sure what you meant there, Zeb. Do um, expand. And I re I sent her a little song which is called "They're Coming to Take Me Away." Ha ha ho ho he he hum. <laughs> oh dear. And I think Seb liked it because she went ho ho he he ha ha. <laughs> I wonder if it is what called. Oh, I wonder if it is what is called retiring for some most spooky. Lol. Hmm. I wonder if it is what's called retiring for some or most people. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I think being retired would drive me mad. 
Sufyan then wrote, hi, how are you all? So Sufyan, hi, capital H. How, capital H, are you all? Uh, question mark. How are you all? It's a, it's a question, so you end it with a question mark. Please advise me how to learn English with fun. Looking forward your response. Okay, please advise me how to learn English with fun. Please, capital P, advise with an S. Okay, this is British English. And there's a difference between advice and advise. If you want to test that, go to the common mistakes. It's a common mistake. <laughs> uh, looking forward to your response, full stop. Um, Hi, Sophia and I wrote, what sort of things do you find fun? I mean, some people I know think calculus is fun and others preferred World of Warcraft. What's your preference? I'll never find out because Sophia didn't reply. Um, Louise wrote, hello, somebody. Well, hello back at you. And then he wrote, or she, I don't know. Uh, hey, how can I do to practice my English on Skype? OK, hey, hey's a bit sort of like, hey, you, it's a bit rude. So, hi, how can I, OK, capital H for how, how can I practice my English on Skype? And I replied, hi, Lewis, uh, we are on a break at the moment, but if you join the forum in October, the Skype sessions will begin again. Just follow the instructions on the website. I presume somewhere in the ether when I go looking there will be some kind of connection from Lewis and I'll be able to talk with you Lewis. Uh, Gigi wrote, hi anybody is there? Question, question, I didn't get any reply. I replied, admittedly, you know, a little bit, a few minutes after he typed in hi and there's no reply. Remember this is called live chat but it's only really live live with me. Uh, nowadays on a Tuesday and today at 10 o'clock and the time will change a bit depending on what I'm doing so keep an eye on the calendar uh, so I replied hi Gigi you have now so Gigi I is always capitalized yeah a um, couple of guests they've obviously come and gone said hi hi bye bye uh, Harriet oh hmm. Okay, it is Harriet, but um, in in your discuss account, it's Harriet. <laughs> but it says, Harriet says, hi, I'm Harriet from Uganda. Okay, Uganda, capital U. It's the name of a country, capitalise. Full stop. I would like to improve on my English, especially public speaking. Ooh, ooh. You're going to be going to politics. How exciting. Okay, I, capital, would like to improve my English, capital E for English, uh, especially public speaking, full stop. And uh, Zeb wrote, hi Harriet, do you mean speaking in front of an audience? And we don't know because she never got back to us. Ah, oh, never came back, never came back, never came back to me. Arma 180 said hello, Jose said hello, Mustafa said hello, Emmanuel said hi peoples. <laughs> Reminds me of a comedy show, hi peeps. Um, then Marina said hi, I'm from Ukraine. Uh, Vicky said hello. And then we got a nice long one here, Valerie. Valerie K said, hey, again, hey's a bit, hey, you, what are you doing? Get off my lawn. <laughs> so um, try high. It's less abrupt, less less um, confrontational. And Valerie said, hi, is anyone interested in speaking to a nice girl on Skype? Okay, capital S for Skype. It's, it's a proper company. It's a company name, trademarked and all. So capital S. If you're a Russian language learner, it's even better because we can speak Russian too. Oh, that's not better. No, 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 no. That's why it's good to hang out with lots of non-native speakers of your own language. You're forced to speak English then. Anyway, P.S. I desperately need a native English speaker with a genuine accent. <laughs> I would be very happy to discuss the latest news, politics, literature and documentaries with you. However, a small talk about something funny and insignificant would be a great thing too. OK, a small talk? No, small talk. It's not countable. Um, so it's just small talk about something funny and insignificant would be great too. Uh, OK, so do come and join us, Valerie, because we don't do politics, but news, literature and documentaries. Yeah, we often talk about those. Anyhow, I then wrote, hi, Valerie, define nice. <laughs> And Valerie did reply, reply saying, a nice person to have a conversation with, as in smart, funny and polite. I quite agree. Yeah, smart and funny can sometimes mean trouble. But we, you add the polite on, you can have nice conversations with smart, funny and polite people. Uh, Zeb then replied, bummer, I've made so many swear words part of my speaking that it may disqualify me. <laughs> Actually, my genuine French accent would have probably put you off first. I'll ignore the other two conditions. Uh, the two other conditions, I do say other two. 
Anyway, nice to meet you, Valerie. Hey, isn't that being polite? Yes, it is indeed. Valerie then said, well, I have nothing against swearing as long as it's not every other word. Yeah, me too, Valerie. Nice to meet you too. Sorry, don't know your name. And Zeb replied, Zeb, my name is Zeb. Most people pronounce it Zeb. That's how I, yeah, I suppose some people might say gz, gzeb or something, but I, I pronounce it Zeb. I, I cultivate my swearing to facilitate my communication in Australian, but I still have a long way to go. And Valerie replied, I had this weird feeling that in the end it would turn out to be your real name. Quite an unusual name, I have to say. Didn't know that in order to communicate in Australian, you need to swear a lot. Is Australian a language? I guess it's heading that way. <laughs> Zeb replied, it's better if you want to get around in the bush or appreciate the Aussie sense of humour. But swearing's not a condition to interact in Australia. Along the East Coast, in big cities, it would even not be recommended. But it's just because they want to sound posh there. As for Zeb, I go by this name in English-speaking countries. Otherwise, they mislead my gender or don't seem to get the pronunciation right. OK, not mislead my gender. Otherwise, they... Um, they are misled about my gender. Okay, I like it too as it makes people remember me as well. That's very true Zeb. It's a nice memorable short word. Valerie replied, I've always thought that English is pretty disadvantaged when it comes to swearing. Russian has a lot more to offer. Smiley. Don't forget to put full stops after your um, Smileys do not replace punctuation guys. Okay, that's all I'll say. There are so many derivatives to one word. It's Inbelievable. Okay, unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, and if you're good at improvising, you can create your own words and become a master of swearing. <laughs> Nobody would even think that you're a bad person. They would simply praise you for your linguistic skills. And in English, there are a couple of really bad words which you can but shouldn't use in any given situation. But there's no space for development and creativity in my view. I will remember your name. Full stop. OK, um, great conversation, guys, by the way. Zeb then said, well, I agree that they tend to use a delimited number of swear words, but this one word can take a variety of meaning depending on the context and the culture of the person you're interacting with. It's a bit like speaking the Smurf language. I think Smurf should be capitalised S if you're talking about Smurflish. <laughs> Is there a word for the Smurf language? There must be Smurflish. I think I like Smurflish. Uh, you're not going to be necessarily praised for your lang for your, not you, language skills, for your language skills or ability, but you'll have good fun. Sometimes it even sounds to me like speaking a secret language, like kids do sometimes. I can't stay online longer here, but I'm often around, so if you want to keep going on this topic, I'm gladly yours. Um, Valerie then replied the context, right, but the words themselves remain unchanged, which I think is kind of boring. Full stop. <laughs> it was nice speaking to you. Maybe discuss something else next time. And Zeb then wrote, you might change your mind once you get to spend some time in Australia. See you next time, probably on a different topic. Yeah, swearing in English, there's lots of swearing and it's, you can sometimes swear with just using a, like, tea bags. It's how you say it. <laughs> tea bags, not a swear word. Tea bags. Definitely a swear word, um, but not rude. So there's lots of, you don't, yeah, it's not that boring. And there's there's a lot more swear. Go on to the Urban Dictionary, Valerie. Okay, but be careful because there's some really foul stuff on there. But uh, there's a very wide variety of swear words. and People are very inventive when it comes to describing things that maybe don't need describing. Maybe best not to give words to some things. <laughs> Anyhow, lots of highs now. Hamza, Lucas... Rezenda, Lolo, oh, Lolo, hi, uh, Shukrula, Ayman, all said hi, and Ayman then add, added, I'm Ayman from Jordan. Okay, so Ayman, uh, I'm is I apostrophe M, because it's short for I am, Ayman should be a capital A, because it's your name, and Jordan should be a capital J, because it's a place, and then full stop. And I replied, hi, Iman, try posting this in lesson one and then I'll correct it for you. Uh, that would have been ty typed correction. You've just had a voice correction. Which is better? Uh, which is better? Which is best? I don't know. You'd, you'd have to tell me. Then Suetudo said, hello, I'm Suetudo from Argentina. And I wrote, hi, Suetudo. Then Mido wrote, hi, everyone. Oh, ah, no. Then Suetudo wrote, is there anybody here? Okay. Um... So, Suetudo, 
is should have the capital I and there should not have a capital T. T. But yes, there was. And I did say hello. Mido. Hi, everyone. I am Mohammed from Egypt. OK, so hi should be capitalised. Everyone is one word. It, they've all joined together. Anybody, one word. Everyone, one word. Uh, I, it should be capitalised. And then a full stop. I am Mohammed from Egypt, full stop. And I wrote, hi Mido, nice to meet you. Uh, Khalid then wrote, hi all friends. Okay, hi Khalid. Ah yes, Khalid, you, you've you been on to the lessons a lot. So well done you. And Khalid then, I hope to take knowledge and give you all I have. Okay, I'll take everything you've got. <laughs> Oh dear, I love it. I love it. Not something you would say. I'll give you all I have. It means somebody might come into your house and rob you. So I wrote, hi Khalid. The great thing about knowledge is that by giving it away, you lose nothing and sometimes you gain much. So Khalid, I, capital I, hope to um, gain knowledge here and share uh, share everything share everything I know. I think that's what you were trying to say, that you want to share your knowledge with us too, which is great. Um, it's, the way you put it did sound like you were just going to give all your worldly possessions away, which would be overly generous. Okay. <laughs> so then Joseph wrote, anybody, oh, again, anybody, one word, anybody here want to speak with me? Do you want to speak with me? I want to speak English. I, capital I, English, capital E. Joseph, nobody replied. I will reply to you now. Hi, Joseph. I was on holiday. But I'm back now. OK, check the calendar. <laughs> Atif wrote, anyone is there? Um, is there anybody there? Knock once for yes, twice for no. OK, uh, Zeb then wrote, hello out there. Are you good at recognising languages? This little game will tell you and it's greatlanguagegame.com. By the way, BTW French is rated as the easiest language to identify. Ah, and it's a really good game. So give that one a go. Nini66 wrote, hi. Hi, Nini. Uh, Vinil said, hi. Hi, Vinil. And then somebody wrote, hi, everybody. I want to read a book in English, but can't choose. I need your help. I wrote, what kind of book do you want to read? Hi, Nataki. Uh, Zeb wrote, oh, OK, that was Nataki. Uh, will it be the first time you read a book in English? Yeah, I want to read a book in English. <sighs> More information, please. OK, I could tell you to go and read Winnie the Pooh and you'd never forgive me or you'd love it. I could go and tell you to read War and Peace and you'd never forgive me or you'd love it. I need to know a bit more. Um, English should be capitalised. Um, need Nataki. Then JD wrote, hi everyone, my name is JD. I'm a fourth year med student. I want some tips to improve my English pronunciation. So I should be capitalised, English should be capitalised, full stop. Actually, I'm being a translator at some medical brigades. I got very confused here. Actually, I work as a translator uh, at some medical meetings, maybe. So I want to improve my English, I capital English capital E, pronunciation to give the best of me, to do my best or to, um, yeah, to do my best, I think is what you wanted to say. Full stop. Thanks. So I wrote, hi, GD. Beyond a certain point, the only way to really improve your pronunciation is to speak and get some feedback. We run a couple of reading sessions and there's a session on Second Life aimed at people wanting to concentrate on matters of pronunciation. Have you read our tip? I haven't replied, had a reply. So then we got hi Salaha and uh, hi Nora. Um, Nora wrote, hi, how are you? Please, I won't learn E, help me. Mm. OK, I wrote, you won't learn or you want to learn? A won't is the short form of will not. OK, so I think, Nora, you meant, hi, how are you? Question mark. Hi, capital H, how, capital H. Uh, I want to learn English, capital E, capital I, full stop, please. Can you help me? Question mark. I think that's what you wanted to say anyway. Then we got Ungok. Uh, hi, I'm Ungok and I'm from Vietnam. OK, Ungok, full stop at the end of your sentence and I, even in I am, I'm, uh, is capitalised. So, hi, Ungok, that seems to be a very popular name in your country. Yes, <laughs> didn't get a reply to that one. I'd love to know why, what does it mean? Why is it so popular? Uh, Jamshad then wrote, hi, 
Arcadax wrote hi, and Amatsu uh, said to hi Arcadax, how are you? Didn't get a reply. Then we have Niccolo Sabatini. Hi, my name is Niccolo and I'm studying for my TEFL certification, so I'd like to have a written conversation with someone to practice and improve my English. Okay, is there someone? Mm, is there anyone? Or is there someone who'd like to help me? Um, okay. Uh, I wrote, hi Niccolo, what kind of topics do you want to write about? Did you want to write about? Do you want to write about? Either's correct. Okay. We are thinking about making a few changes to the way the network runs, and this is the sort of thing we might do if people are interested, but only if they're interested. Amatsu then wrote, hello everyone, and I wrote, hello, you need a nice new avatar. Amatsu then wrote, that would be nice if I knew how to. And I said, when you have a few moment, a free moment, I will show you how. You might recognise Amatsu from the forum. And the forum has been playing up for Amatsu, so she's over on Discuss now. <laughs> Vivek wrote, hi, H-A-I. That's shark in German. Anybody there to chat with me now? doesn't seem to work like that at the moment, but as more people find us, I'm hoping that will change. I wrote, hi Vivek, your post went into the queue for moderation. Ah, that would explain it. Only members can post straight away. Moji wrote, hi everybody. Um, Safi wrote, you are here. <laughs> Safi, what's that mean? You are here. No, I'm not. I'm not there. I'm here. You're there. I'm here. Uh, so I wrote, hi Safi, no I'm not there, I'm here. A uh, couple more highs, uh, Marina, Jorman, uh, Davud. Uh, Davud said, who wants to talk to me? Okay, um, it's better to say who wants to talk with me. If I talk to you, you just have, I'm talking to you now, but you can't reply, so it's not talking with you. <laughs> and who should have a capital W? Always at the beginning of your sentence or your question, capital W. I would if I could, I replied, but I can't. Check the calendar because the voice sessions and live chat are beginning again next week. Ah, see, kept my promise. I survived. Um, Safi then wrote back, oh, Safi, you're back. Um, okay, come on. And I was still not sure what Safi meant. Um, so I replied, reminds me of a song from a now disreputable singer, which is uh, Gary Glitter. Come on. Come on. Um, Elsan, hi, isn't no, isn't nob, nobody here? Okay. Um, is there anybody here? Isn't anybody here? Isn't nobody here? Is my favourite a double negative? So I wrote, oh, lovely Elsan, my favourite a double negative. If nobody isn't here, it means somebody must be here. So nobody needs nob, nobody. Um, I know it's cool to kick out all the vowels when you're writing English online but you're learning English try and keep it sort of spelt correctly as much as possible nobody n-o-b-o-d-y Eldia wrote hey uh, Noor hello anybody here uh, my name is Noor I'm 22 years old and then Noor wrote I'm going to learn English give me information about this language <laughs> Oh, please is a good word, you know. It's a really good word. Okay, uh, I'm going to learn English, full stop. Please, could you give me inf some information about this language? Question mark. Uh, Zebra, hi, no, you seem to already know some English, right? Do you need information that will help you pass exams? Or are you, or you're looking for something different? I direct, or are you looking for something different there? Uh, Noor then replied, yes, sir, there's some problem about English when I try to speak English. I do not do my speech so fast, but when I try to make report, I'm okay. What caused it? Wow. Okay, I think what you meant was, yes, Seb, I have a problem with English when I try to speak. Um... I don't speak too quickly, but when I, um, okay, okay, I can't speak very quickly, but when I write a report, I'm okay. What causes this? Okay, I think that's what you meant to say. And Zeb replied, well, I guess you've trained your brain and hand to put English words on paper, but you've forgotten your mouth and also verbal interactions along the way. The mouth organ put aside. <laughs> okay, mouth organ is actually a musical instrument. The one that goes... <laughs> so... <laughs> I know what you meant, uh, but I put, I'd write speech put aside. It might be hard to produce the English sounds that are quite tough. Uh, on top of that, when you talk to your paper, I like the idea of talking to your paper when you write, you have time to think what's going to be the next argument, illustration for the point you want to make. The paper's not giving you any pressure to reply instinctively. Yeah, uh, I'd say the paper's not putting you under any pressure to reply instinctively. I guess your brain 
is wired to the English language in a bird like, no need to hurry, let's go to the memory, fetch the word, check the vocab, and eventually grammar book. Oh, and what about the spell checker? Let's read all of this now. Sounds will look good. All right, I'm finished. Lastly, speaking is also casual, while writing is more often formal. Uh, it's more often rather formal. Suddenly, you hear something that you've never encountered before, and your brain will try to buy some time to figure the hell out what's going on around here. What kind of language is that? And I put aside an eventual accent that you'll hardly ever encounter when you write on a piece of paper. Well, there my answer to your question. What causes it? Maybe they don't apply to you, or maybe they do. Oh, they do, Zeb. I can pretty much say yes. And also, don't forget, when you're speaking to somebody naturally, they it's not scripted. Um, so even if you can understand conversations, in films and um, in television shows, they're scripted. They don't have all the little noises we make, the ers and the ums and the ahs. No background noise either. Really good recordings, filtered out noise. So when you're actually speaking to somebody in a real situation, there's often background noise. They, they start a sentence, they, they kind of change their, me- their mind midway and start saying something else. It doesn't flow. You find it difficult to follow. It only comes with practice of real conversations with real people. Listening to live chat, um, radio, uh, not just this, I don't mean, I mean sort of like speaking um, chat stations where people phone in, they have phone-ins regularly. That's good fun and it's good practice for your listening skill, real listening skills. Okay, and I wrote, uh, Zeb has it spot on, Noor. You need to move your knowledge of English to the fore and that only comes with practice. Your brain is always going to prioritise the things it thinks are important and they don't always match what you think is important. (laughs) Yep, it's so true. So Zeb then wrote, um, Zeb's been sharing some really cool stuff here, short video on the origins of Elvish, Klingon, Dothraki and Navi, or what do Game of Thrones, Dothraki, Avatars, Navi, Star Trek's Klingon and Lord of the Rings Elvish have in common? I think it's Elf... Isn't it elfish or is it elvish? I'm not sure. What do you call the elf language? Hmm. And she's written... uh, She's placed a link in here to boingboing.net forward slash 2013 forward slash 09 forward slash dot dot dot. (laughs) Some of you might like it. I haven't looked yet. Uh, I have to be honest, I haven't had the time. Uh, Amatsu, though, has looked and replied, very interesting, Zeb. I remember as a youngster inventing a language with my friend, but I can't remember any of it now. And Zeb replied, you spoke it for a long time, this language of your own, Amatsu? And Amatsu said, not really, perhaps a year, and mostly by letter, as my friend moved away. I miss letters. Zeb replied, but what prevents you from writing letters? And I replied, I'm dying for Amatsu to reply time. Just waiting for it. (laughs) You'll need to know what's going on in Google Plus to get that, because I was decrying the fact I don't have enough time to do certain things. And Amatsu wrote, make time. And I wrote, do you have the recipe? (laughs) Oh, do you know how to make time? She said, yes. So I'm dying for her to say she hasn't got enough time to write letters. But uh, she hasn't replied yet, so we'll see. Then Mamdu wrote, hi, how are you? I'm trying to improve my English. Can you help me? And I wrote, hi, Mamdu. Yeah, probably. (laughs) Jazz, Abdalaziz, uh, Ahmed Ghazi wrote hi and then Firus wrote hello I'm new in this please help me how to speak English well okay I will um, just tell you Firus hello capital H capital I apostrophe M for I'm I'm new at this not in new in this I'm new at this full stop please uh, help me learn how to speak English well, full stop. Okay, I'll give you the link to the how to improve your spoken English in a moment, Firus. Okay, Ahmed, uh, oh yeah, I said hello to Ahmed. Waruna said hi, I like to chat with someone for improve my English. Okay, I think Waruna, you meant to say hi, capital H, I would like to, capital I, chat with someone to improve my English, full stop. Okay, and yeah, everybody's here to do that. Uh, You guys need to contact each other. And you'd be amazed how much you can learn from each other, really. Manu wrote, how are you? I'm from Spain and you. So Manu, how, capital H. Uh, I'm from Spain and you, question mark, because you're turning it from a statement to a sort of a question. So it'd be, how are you? I'm from Spain and you. (laughs) 
<laughs> you hear that? It's all in the intonation. And the intonation comes, that's where you use question marks. That tells you how to intonate, okay? Uh, I wrote, hi Manu, I'm from the UK, but I live in Germany, so I guess I'm from Europe. Hey Manu, I was in Spain a couple of weeks back. We travelled through and then we travelled back. And we even went to the Basque country. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to call that Spain because it's called the Basque country. Literally, the Basque country. Pays de Basque. Yeah, it was fascinating. But it rained so much. We went into central Spain. Beautiful weather. And you've got wolves. I was amazed. If anybody wants to know a bit about my holiday, come to Google Plus Hangout on Monday. I'm going to try and put together some of the photos. I won't bore you too much, but I'll try and put together some of the photos we can talk about. Okay? Hira and Joey said hi. Joey wrote, I want to learn how to speak English. Hey, Joey, I, capital I, English, capital E, full stop. Hi, Joey, I replied. What do you do to learn English now? How did you learn to speak your native language? It's pretty much the same with different words and sounds. <laughs> okay, Honestly, people make a big thing about English. It's not that difficult, but you have to do Okay, you have to be active. You have to engage with the language. Then Maluna wrote, hello guys, my name is Malik. Oh, okay. It says Mulana Malik. But you're, I take it your first name is, that's odd, isn't it? Is it Malik Mulana? Or is Mulana your family name and Malik your first name? It doesn't matter, really. If you want to be called Malik, I'll call you Malik. Um, but um, it's interesting because I know some languages you put your surname first and your first name second. In English, it's the other way around. My first name's Lynn, my second name's Hand, and I write it Lynn Hand. Okay. Then young Michael wrote, Hi there, how are you? I hope so. Please advise me how to learn English with fun. Thanks. Okay. Hi there. How are you? Capital H. It's a separate. It's a question. Okay. Hi there is a greeting. And your question is, how are you? I'm very well, by the way, young Michael. <laughs> I hope so. Hmm. Uh, that would be, I hope, are you well? I hope so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how are you? I hope so. It makes no sense. So, uh, are you well? I hope so. Full stop. Okay. Separate your thoughts, your sentences. The ones that join together can go into one sentence. If they don't join together, you need new sentences just to help the reader. Um, please advise me, so capital P and an S, not advise me, advise me how to learn English with fun. Full stop, thanks. And I wrote, hi, young Michael, have you met Mikey? <laughs> There's a lot of people who want to learn how to learn English. Learning English is fun, guys. Come on. <laughs> It's fun. Have fun whilst you're doing it. Um, play games. Yeah. But let me know what sort of things you find you you think are fun. As, as I replied to the one earlier, some people think calculus is fun. So it really depends on you. We need to get to know each other a bit better before I can give you advice about what would be fun for learning English. But there are so many. Yeah, just go for games for learning English in Google. Um, and uh, jokes for learning English. Uh, I find the best fun is having conversations with people and joining in hangouts and on Skype. But that might not be your idea of fun. Yeah, but to me, speaking is the most fun because you don't have to worry about the spelling or the punctuation when you're speaking English. It's much easier than writing, you know. Anyway, um, that's it for this week. I've got a horrible feeling I've probably overrun, so I'm going to have to cut this back a bit. But thank you for listening, if you have listened. Um, if you've listened, well, no need to thank you because you can't hear me. But uh, remember, you can find the text and read along as you listen, uh, which will help you make that all important connection between the words, the sounds, the meaning. Okay. Uh, get out there, practice your English and be nice and be kind. And if you can't be good, don't get caught. Bye. <laughs>